brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Which she just happened to help design. It's funny, because even though it's been almost 20 years, in some sense, you almost feel like you never left. Ginger left Guam in 1999 for Washington, D.C. and became a deputy inspector general for Iraq with oversight of expenditures. She says over the years, she and her team would find billions of dollars in wasted spending. Ginger left federal service in 2012 to start her own consulting firm and returned to the Middle East where she has resettled in Beirut, which she says reminds her of Guam. It is because it's on the Mediterranean, so you still have the ocean, and I missed that when I was in the States. Uh, but, and, and the Lebanese people really love family as well. Uh, my husband is Lebanese-American, so he's got a big family there. And uh, you're also right in the center of everything. So Which works out well because she does a lot of work throughout the Middle East and North Africa. But she says she does miss home and hopes to find business opportunities here that will get her back more often. Probably some of my best memories of Guam were like the old days when, when KUAM had the old station and we had the typhoons and the elections and the liberation coverage and, and kind of following in, in Madeline's footsteps back in the day. Yeah. This is a, it's a special place. I mean, KUAM is a special place in my heart and to see things the way that they are and to remember the adrenaline and the cameras turning on and being able to like share stuff with everybody. It really, you can't really describe it. It really is special. Welcome back, Ginger. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.